It's 140 days until the Olympic Games takes place in London. Today's March the 9th. My name's Sam Downey, and I'm here in Bristol outside at Bristol, which is a big science and innovation centre, uh, to talk to you about communication and innovation to do all to do with the Olympic Games. So coming up, you're going to hear two interviews which I did with Robert Scoble and Leo Laporte, people who are knowledgeable about technology. Let's hear what they had to say about what it means to them to make the, the Olympic Games the most connected games in the world ever. Hi, I'm Leo Laporte. I'm the chief twit at the T Twit Network. It stands for This Week in Tech, and you'll find us at twit.tv. Uh, I just love the Olympics. It's a, it, you know, it's great that it's once every four years. You really have time to get excited about it and and look forward to it. Uh, of course, it's uh, it's international. It's the best, I think, the best single best way for uh, people to get together from all around the world and, and forge ties that bring peace. Uh, so I'm I'm very excited by it. I always look forward to the Olympics, all the events. Uh, the only thing we hate here on the west coast of the U.S. is the eight-hour time difference. <laughs> you know, when, when the events are beginning uh, for you, we'll be fast asleep. So I think we'll miss some of the Olympics or unfortunately have to watch it on tape delay. But it's still very exciting. And tell me about what te technology side of the Olympics are you looking forward to? Because this is well, going to be the most connected games ever. Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, they say that, of course, every four years. And every when you have a four-year gulf between events, four years is a lifetime in technology so it who knows it's going to be very exciting to see you know uh, one of the things we saw in the winter olympics last year in vancouver was how and, and they had a difficult time controlling this how many sources of information there were you know the olympics traditionally try to control that because that's a real source of revenue for them the problem is, is if, if everybody who's attending these games has a twitter account and a camera phone and can shoot video it's pretty hard to keep that information to yourself. The monopoly is broken, and I think that's one of the big challenges modern Olympics are going to face. There's no monopoly, there's no control of information in an Olympics game anymore. I'm Robert Scoble, I'm the Chief Learning Officer for Rackspace. I go around the world and interview tech startups like these startups here at the Dreamforce event, uh, which is uh, Salesforce's big conference, which we're right in the middle of. Robert, tell me what you think about the Olympics and the London 2012 Games uh, in the areas of technology, because they're, they're going to be the most connected games ever. So what's your thoughts on that? Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I was at the Vancouver Winter Olympics and saw some of the technology there with the HD cameras, the timing systems, the, the information systems, and people twittering from the stands with fans worldwide you know, back home because yeah. everybody around the world is following their favorite a uh, athlete. And so it's going to be a lot of fun because we're going to be far more connected in, in next summer than we were four years ago. We're going to have, everybody's on Twitter now. I mean, here at Dreamforce, Mark Benioff, the CEO of Salesforce, asked everybody, you know, uh, who's not on uh, Twitter or uh, Facebook? And nobody yeah. raised their hand, right? Yeah, exactly. So we're going to be able to talk to everybody around the world about their about the athletics contest that we're going to witness. I, I'm an old runner, so I like the uh, marathon, uh, I like uh, gymnastics, and uh, all the beer drinking in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> if so, I come to London, if I get a, a lucky ticket, uh, that's that's what will be done. So if you just want to get, um, want to find you online, where should they go to? Well, I'm at, at Scobalizer on uh, Twitter or Robert Scoble on Google. Thank you for talking to me. Thanks. I'd like to thank Robert Scoble and Leo Laporte for joining me on this short report about the Olympic Games and technology connecting the world together through the London 2012 Olympic Games. Uh, it's 140 days to go. Today's March 9th and I'm really looking forward to telling you, giving you more of an experience of the London 2012 Olympic Games.
So, this is Sam Downey signing off as a BT Storyteller. If you want to find out further information, visit the website, link down below. It's Sam's London 2012, spelled S-A-M-S-L-D-N 2012.co.uk. Visit the website, follow us on Twitter, follow me on Facebook as well as a Facebook group too. Uh, so, this is Sam Downey signing off from Bristol in England. Thanks for joining me.